This is R.D. Sharma Solution Class 12 Chapter 19. Exercise is 19.14. Indefinite integrals we are talking about. Now we have 1 by under root a square plus b square x square. So we know that we have the formula for x square plus a square. Integration of that thing. So we'll just change this. That is uh, 1 by. Let me tell you the formula first. 1 by under root x square plus a square. You can directly write it as a formula in terms of the log. So log modulus of x plus under root x square plus a square. This is the standard result. For that a has to be constant, x has to be the variable. So plus constant of integration. So how do we do this? Let's start with the denominator first. So this denominator is saying a square plus b square x square. So this b square if we take common it will be a square plus b square x square. And divide by b square because you have taken b square so you can just divide it. So this b a by b whole square the first term has become. The second term is x square now. So this is inside under root. This is a root. For this the b will come outside. And x square plus a by b whole square this has transformed to. We will do the integration now. And remember this was the denominator. So let me put a 1 here only. And this will be 1 by b. Now we have the standard result which I just intimated you a few seconds ago. This under root x square plus a square in the denominator. This will be log x plus under root x square plus what is what is x a here? Constant a by b whole square plus constant of integration. You can stop here or you can resolve it also. You can simplify also. This term I am talking about. So x square plus a square by b square. So let's multiply it here b square plus b square x square plus a square divided by b square and this whole is inside the root. So we have a square plus b square x square under root this is b in the denominator. You already have a x so let's add x here. This will be bx plus 1 into this one so under root a square plus b square x square and divided by b. Now this is preceded by log. So we have a log here. So log now log a by b. What will be log a by b? It will be log a minus log b. So this will be log bx plus under root a square plus b square x square. This is, this is the first term. The second term will be minus log 2 log b. And that will be combined with the constant of integration. So c plus c minus log b will be termed as another constant. Let us call it as c prime. So the final result will be 1 by b log modulus of bx plus under root a square plus b square x square and this whole term can call can be called as uh, say c prime or you can call it as c1. So this is how this is being done. The whole idea I explained. This formula is very important. I have not written the formula here but you have to write it. So same thing we are going to do here. a square minus b square x square is in the denominator. So we need to liberate this x square with from any of the constant preceding it. So we'll take b square common and we'll divide both the terms inside with b square so that we get it simplified. So we'll get uh, a square by b square minus x square. So integration this is in the under root. So b will come outside let me write it here 1 by b. 1 divided by a square by b square that is a by b whole square minus x square. Integration of a square minus x square under root is already known to us. So 1 by under root a square minus x square the direct is sine inverse. It will be x by a or a by x. Tell me what idea do you have or what you can recall because we have done a question with tan inverse. This is the first time we are dealing with sine inverse. It is sine inverse x by a. So now just convert this because this integration is done. It will be sine inverse x by a by b. Because a is a by b in this case. b goes up. It will be bx by a. So bx by a sin inverse bx by a plus constant of integration. That's your final result. So this is how you are going to go about it. The whole idea of this question is sin inverse. Now we have 1 by under root 2 minus x whole square plus 1. Now be prepared for the next question. It has 2 minus x square minus 1. So if you understand this question, next question will be very easy for you. We'll take 2 minus x equals to t and this will ease easy fire over the denominator with an under root. So dt will become negative dx here. We have differentiated both the sides. This integration will become 1 by under root. 2 minus x square is t. 
one will be written as one square so we want to formulate it in the form of one by under root x square plus a square this is in terms of dt so you have a negative also so we have just seen it, the result will be log so log let's write it in terms of t log t plus under root t square plus one plus constant of integration and there will be a negative also in place of t now replace it by 2 minus x so minus log i am writing 2 minus x in place of t plus under root 2 minus x whole square plus 1 plus constant of integration now you will ask a question whether we have to simplify this 2 minus x whole square plus 1 or not so we can simplify it a minus b whole square we can open it add it with 1 and write it but since the question is already in 2 minus x whole square form we don't need to change it that's why we will keep it like that right now so this is the result i was talking about 2 minus x equals to t will immensely simplify the approach and under root is x square plus a square will be log x plus under root x square plus a square that will be the final result and we do have a negative here so as i was suggesting almost similar same question you have to apply the formula of integration of 1 by under root x square minus a square. So how we are going to do it? It's in front of you. You can just use this and solve it. We have the 2 minus x equals to t and other thing will remain the same. Log x plus under root x square minus a square. x raise 4 plus 1 by x square plus 1 dx. We will try to cancel this x square plus 1 if possible. For that we need a squared minus b squared formula. For that we have x raise 4 in the numerator. We can write it like this x raise 4 minus 1 and we have to add 1 also because 1 is already there. So it becomes 2 now. So we will separate them out x raise 4 minus 1. This is the first term we are talking about and 1 plus 1 is 2. Now the x, x raise 4 will be written as x square to the power square minus 1 square. So it will be a square minus b square, a will be x square, b will be 1. So a square minus b square formula is a minus b into a plus b. In this case, you will take a as x square, b as 1. So x square minus 1 into x square plus 1, this will be. And then you have a 2 also. Denominator, you have x square plus 1. So x square plus 1, you can write it here now. Now what is the benefit of doing all this? x square plus 1 will get cancelled from the first term. So we'll integrate all the three terms x square first is the first term second is this minus one so minus dt dx it will be and then plus two d two integration of x square plus one now you can call it as x square plus a square where a is one so x square will be x cubed by three and dx will be x and one by x square plus a square is directly in terms of tan so tan inverse x by one which is tan inverse x only so that's your final result Okay, this is the way you are going to do about it. Just write the sentences also, also like we have taken this, we have taken that. That is very important in solving the questions. Okay, this is all about this exercise. Thank you so much. Have a good one.